Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the library with Miss Kay. Today, I wanted to show you guys our eHub library. And maybe a lot of you guys are really used to this and use it, but I hadn't used it for a while because we've been using other sources. And I wanted to just read you guys a story from our eHub library and kind of show you it. So everybody needs to have their own username and password login. Um, the cool thing about this is we actually have books that we've purchased. So this is our own little library. And I really like how they sort them out by the grade levels, especially um, reading levels. And as you look through even just this page, I clicked on pre-K just to see what was here. There, the blue book means that the book is available. The finger means that it is an interactive book so it'll read it to you or sing it in a lot of cases they do such a good job um so i just was scrolling through and seeing some of the the fun books here and i thought all right let's read um you can check a book out and while you have it for two weeks nobody else can read it so as soon as you're done with it return it even though it's online it's checked out um or you can just read it and not check it out and when you're done it somebody else can read it right then. I kind of like doing that myself. You can create a bookshelf for yourself. Of course. So here's my bookshelf. Then I am going to go ahead and this one is interactive. It's such a cute song. I'm going to probably play that with my kindergarten groups this week, but I am going to read. Let's check out Farmer Dale's red pickup truck and it is a 2.0 reading level. It doesn't give me the quiz number, so I'll have to look that up. And I already looked it up for you guys. So here it is. 78753 is the quiz number. Farmer Dale's Red Pickup Truck. So let's read this book and check it out and see what we've got here. We don't have to check it out, but we can read it. So I can check it out for two weeks, but I just want to read it right now. So I'll say no thanks. So here we go. Let's read this story. Farmer Dale's Red Pickup Truck by Lisa Wheeler. Scrolls through every page that you would see in the book if you had it in your library. Even their dedications. Farmer Dale's Red Pickup Truck hauled a load of hay. A bossy cow with eyes of brown was standing in the way. How about a ride? asked Bossy Cow. Hop in, said Farmer Dale. Move over, ordered Bossy Cow. There's no room for my tail. The truck bounced up, the truck bounced down. It spit and sputtered toward the town. There it goes. That cow looks pretty heavy. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck was chugging right along. A woolly sheep came strolling by, bleeding out a song. Room for more, sang woolly sheep. Fit me in somehow? No problem, answered Farmer Dale. Move over, uttered cow. The truck bounced up and shimmied. It coughed and wheezed back down. The pickup spit a cloud of smoke and sputtered towards the town. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck hit a rocky bump. It swerved besides a rolly pig skating past the dump. Oh, my star, squealed rolling pig. You folks just knocked me down. So sorry, Dale apologized. Need a ride to town? I do indeed, said rolly pig. My skates are broken now. Climb aboard, said woolly sheep. Move over, ordered cow. The truck bounced up and groaned back down. It hiccuped twice and chugged towards town. Uh-oh. It's not looking good. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck slowly rattled on. A goat with an accordion stood grazing on the lawn. Can I squeeze in, asked Nanny Goat. My pleasure, Farmer said. Bad idea, sang Wooly Sheep. The engine's almost dead. No room, lamented Rolly Pig. We're overcrowded now. 
We'll make some room, said Farmer Dale. Move over, bossed the cow. The truck bounced up. The springs all popped. The bumper bumped. The pickup stopped. <gasps> oh, dear. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck stood stranded in the road. It seems you have a problem, a cocky rooster crowed. We do, admitted Farmer Dale. The problem is we're stuck. The weight of all these animals is too much for my truck. Rooster eyed the animals. You're such a cozy group. I hate to cluck like mother hen, but who will fly the coop? I just squeezed in, said Nanny Goat. I'm faint, squealed Rolly Pig. I won't move, said Bossy Cow. I'm boss of this red rig. Too bad for you, sang Wooly Sheep. The biggest has to go. Settle down, said Farmer Dale. Let's think now nice and slow. I'll get you out, the farmer said. I'll get out, the farmer said, and push from the rear. Good idea, said Nanny Goat. Cow replied, I'll steer. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck didn't budge at all. Dale pushed until his face was red, and then he heard a call. Can I butt in, asked Nanny Goat. I'd like to lend a hoof. Rooster squawked, I'll point the way, then roosted on the roof. I'll pitch in, said Wooly Sheep. I'll ram it with my head. Don't hog the fun, said Rolly Pig. Let's all help out instead. The pickup rocked and rumbled. It rolled an inch or, or an inch or so. It's moving, shouted Bossy Cow. The rooster crow, crowed, too slow. Turn the key, said Farmer Dale. I can't, replied the cow. She's got no hands explained the sheep. Farmer Dale just sighed. You should steer, said Bossy Cow. We'll move this heap along. The beasts all pushed together and sang a working song. The pig up bounced and shimmied. It groaned and squeaked and wheezed. It spit a thankful cloud of smoke and started with a sneeze. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck rumbled into town, hauling goat and pig and sheep and cow with eyes of brown. Rooster roosted on the hood, cried cock-a-doodle cluck. Hip hooray for Farmer Dale and his red pickup truck. They all got to town. It looks like something really cool is happening. A talent contest in the town park today. No wonder everyone was going to town. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that story.